Uh, Madam Mayor, City Council. First, I'd like to say all these moral arguments about how Brisbane owes the rest of the region and the state to fix the problems that everybody else created that we did not create are hollow arguments. A lot of emotion there and not a lot of logic there. Uh, San Francisco decided a long time ago not to be Hong Kong. They put a moratorium on housing uh, uh, in three quarters of the city, essentially single and one and two units. They could lift that tomorrow. They're not going to do that. Um, we've heard reports here in this chamber, I think it was last, uh, last meeting or, or one before, that something like 40,000 units are already proposed all around us, including 24,000 or so in San Francisco. They will be coming online in the next five or ten years, I guess. Um, so talking about Brisbane like we're in a, a vacuum is a big mistake. And as a matter of fact, just, just on the other side of the border from us in Visitation Valley at the Slage Lock Development, where the same developer is working there, the city of San Francisco, uh, the residents in that immediate area, just a few hundred of them out of a, a neighborhood with over 20,000, only a few hundred vocal residents, work to reduce the size of that project where it could have been much higher density than the 1,700 or so, 1,650 or so units that are currently planned there that are currently, ground has already been broken on that project. And the possibility of other units that the same developer owns very close to that in the executive park in San Francisco with 24-story towers planned. I don't know the total units there, but you're talking about a lot of development that's on the drawing board and um, either approved or close to being approved. So in Brisbane, uh, also to hear that this project is a great project or a visionary project, it, I don't see it that way. And many other people in Brisbane don't see it that way. And we'd be happy to see something that way. I don't see this as being that. Uh, quickly, I'm going to read the letter that I'll turn into uh, Ingrid. Baylands deliberations, why no housing? Housing on the Baylands is currently prohibited. It should not even be up for discussion. Our planning commission recommended a plan they judged to be practical and both environmentally and economically sound. Rather than concentrating on that option as the preferred one, you have spent months laboring over the developer's preferences. On July 24th, Madison Davis raised the question of a general election vote to identify the true public opinion for or against housing on the Baylands. And I followed her idea by suggesting three items be asked. Housing, yes or no. Developer's plan, amend the current Brisbane general plan to allow housing on the Baylands, yes or no? Planning Commission recommendation, yes or no? The belief that the Baylands cannot or will never be made safe for housing may be wrong, but it has not been proven wrong. More importantly, who or what has prevented this property owner from completing remediation of their <clears throat> lands at the top safety standard for housing over the term of their ownership? I think no one, just their own selfish interest, to use the threat of constantly polluted lands as a bargaining chip in their efforts to persuade our city council and voters to give them the unearned gift of billions in additional windfall profits by amending our general plan. No one can justify that position by claiming Brisbane is standing in the way of fixing the crisis others made all around us. The regional responsibility argument is a fraud, just like the ABAG plans to include 4,400 new units in Brisbane that we have no no intention of ever building. Even if, even if they had cleaned up the reme and reme or remediated all of their land already, Brisbane has no obligation to subject itself to either the hyper growth these public proposals would mean, nor to the potential political power shift which should be expected if our city fails to uphold its own general plan. Now, it's good to uh, it's good to finally read that a couple of San Francisco's former mayors, now longer no longer in office, are willing to admit their city's part in creating this housing crisis. However, while San Francisco failed again to maximize density at this developer's slage lock site, uh, they want us to build more. Settling, <clears throat> it's, they say it's selfish not to embrace the end of our small town quality of life as they seek to dictate our future for uh, to us uh, on their own for their own benefit. I suggest you go first. Lift all the height and density restrictions throughout San Francisco, Daly City, and South San Francisco, and leave us to decide the little that we have a right to control. Housing and environmental advocates are reported to have suggested our Baylands fill is just piles of dirt, not worthy of anything but the same sprawl they so much argue against 
against in other locations. That is hypocritical. Many who build over, uh, many would build over in Golden Gate Park if they got a chance to, and I would rather see Brisbane facilitate the building of the next great park right here, complete with its own energy farm. The, the great lie is that many small towns like Brisbane owe anything to the great cities around us. Every problem has a solution, some better than others, some far worse. We in Brisbane have have the courage to seek the highest value use and not allow ourselves to be bullied into accepting the, tr the tired old lies that more housing will really help end the imbalance which is proven to be beyond simple supply and demand. Change in the right direction is okay, to paraphrase Winston Churchill. This developer plan is the wrong direction. Thank you.